Hey guys, I am back with another unboxing. Today we got our Boxy Charm Base box. I'm loving these unboxings because I'm getting them all at once and it is super fun for me. So the thing with my Boxy Charm is that like I am not good with the waiting and the questions, but I absolutely love the surprise. So with Ipsy, I usually need to get my spoiler right away on the second but with boxy charm it's like killing me like what's gonna be in there what's gonna be in there i did get the 111 choice one one it's a 111 skin or 111 i've heard it both ways but i did get that as my choice item so it should be in here i have seen a few variations and i wasn't super excited but i usually change my tune when i see it Anyways, for those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm's base box is $25 a month. It always comes looking like it had a rough go of it on its way here, but this is one of the least beat up boxes I've had. So, I don't know why I'm putting all this suspense on it. Let's get started. I feel like I'm a little extra ADD today. I was saying, it's a $25 a month subscription box. You get five full-size items, and you get to choose one a month. All right, so here is our card, and it's got our prices and information on it. I love when they do the math for me. Okay, I see right away I got this color switch. So part of me was like, okay, this will be fun because I actually have this disgusting little <laughs> rag right here that I switch my brushes on when I'm doing like a more detailed eye look. So I am excited about this, but everybody said that it works exactly the same as ones that they bought buy at the dollar store. And it is literally like a little foamy thing in a tin. However, if it works, it works. If I have one item, for me, if I have one item that I love enough to pay $25 for, then all the rest of the items are great, especially if I'm going to use them. Even if I wouldn't have necessarily bought them. So next I have the Grace and Stella. It's like an energy drink for your eyes. It's an eye mask. I do like eye masks. I have these little fine lines you can't see. Thank you, good lighting, under my eyes. And I try a lot of things to kind of help. It says it's anti-wrinkle and energizing. So I will definitely keep an eye on my eyes after using them and see if it really helps. It says you have 12 pairs, so I would think that's enough to kind of see. Then I am excited about this cream eyeshadow, except it looks like, like the product is a little less than as far as how much is in it. But let's watch this out real fast. Oh, that's really pretty. It would probably make a great glitter topper on the eyes. Let's just pop it on there right now. Ooh. Actually, I think that looks great. Just kind of dab it in. So that'll be fun. I do like a, I have been wanting a good glitter topper. It doesn't have a lot of color and it does look kind of like the glitters. It's not very like condensed. So you might have to build it up a bit, but I still am happy to get that and have just like a quick top to it. Then we have the 111 skin. I'm really excited about this. I'll be honest, part of what drew me to it is the value, like how high the retail price is. And I think it'll be fun though to try it. I just got the Sunday Riley Night mask. And this is the Pollution Defense. It's not the Sunday Riley one, but I heard that those two 
work really well together. So I'm hoping this one does as well. And then our last item is the Ace Beauty. I'm hoping it's the blush one. I saw that they had a blush and a contour palette. I would really use either. It is the contour palette. It's got a nice little mirror there. <laughs> oh look, my big messy vanity. <laughs> um, but I think this will be good. I do a lot of like bronzing contouring as you can tell. Round face girls understand. So that'll be great. Okay, let's read the details about it. First, here's our 111 skin. It said it retails for $135. I did not know until recently this like blue light pollution where they're saying using our phones and computers and stuff is actually polluting our skin. And I'm like, didn't know that was a thing. So we'll see how much it helps. Didn't notice the pollution before. Maybe we'll notice it after. Then we have the Studio Makeup Cream Eyeshadow. This value is for $25. Lightweight decadent formulas, perfect addition to your glow. Apply a sheer layer for a soft and radiant daytime appearance or add a few layers for a dramatic evening glow. Okay, so it knows you need to build it up. So as long as we're on the same page there, I think we're good. Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise palette. It retails for $30. And see. Four bronzer shades are featured to provide a natural sun-kissed look. Can be layered on top of liquid cream or other powder complexion products. The Grace and Stella Anti-Wrinkle and Energy Eye Masks. I do have the Grace and Stella Rose Quartz Roller and I do really like that. Suffering from dark circles, puffy eye bags, fine lines, General fatigue around your eyes. Perk them up as if you had eight hours of sleep with these eye masks. Could it make my body think I had eight hours of sleep too? Because I woke up at 9.30 this morning and I was as ornery as someone who was woken up at three in the morning. So <laughs> they revitalize and rejuvenate the tired eyes, leaving you looking more awake and youthful. I could use that. Who else feels like they've aged like 10 years since this whole COVID thing, especially the moms like myself who are staying home with their children all the time. I, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely aging. I'm surprised I haven't found any grays yet. This is why I keep dying because I don't want to dye my hair because I don't want any surprises, you know. And the Lavish Quick Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner. With this Quick Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner, I feel like that's a tongue twister, you can quickly remove powder pigments from makeup brushes without water. Reusable and washable. I think I'll definitely use it. I mean, whether it's as good or better or not as good as a dollar store one, I don't own a dollar store one. I don't own one at all. So I'll get my use out of it. And let's see if it says the total retail. So wait, it didn't do the math for me. Okay, give me a second. I still count on my fingers sometimes. Okay, I could be wrong. You can correct my math, but I am getting a value of $228 this month. That is like Ipsy and Boxy are really fighting on that. The funny thing is, I liked my boxes. I like this one. I like my um, Glam Bag Plus, but I will say that they weren't necessarily me, what I'm looking to really get. 
And yet the value is higher than I've had in the past. So maybe I don't care too much about the value most of the time because I just want fun makeup to play with. And I feel like I'm getting less and less makeup these days. And that's a little disappointing for me because I go through a lot of makeup. I do a lot of looks. I was doing daily looks on Facebook every day. And I went through so much makeup. I needed such a variety. So I kind of depend on these boxes. So I'm not like shelling out tons and tons of money. So here's hoping that next month we get a lot more makeup. I have not gotten an eyeshadow palette. Aside from this one I got from my Ipsy. And this was a little disappointing after I tried to play with it. So I'm looking for something fun and colorful. So let's cross our fingers. I know everybody's like palettes, palettes, palettes. So you get it. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. I had fun. If you like my videos, please subscribe. You can click the bell and you'll be notified in the future when I have new videos. I We'll have kind of this break between now, probably, because I've just gotten all my subscription boxes. So till next month, but I will probably do an occasional tutorial here and there or something. So stay tuned. I might surprise you and I might surprise myself. I hope you have a great day.